Vero Beach is facing a major water shortage, so much so if you live in the area, officials are asking not to use the drinking water to water your lawn. They feel people using drinking water for irrigation is one reason the city's water supply is so low. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Haberman went to see just how dire the situation is. Dylan? The city of Vero Beach needs water. City officials asked residents who use drinking water for their lawns to pause to help with that low water supply. That pause was lifted yesterday, and officials say it did help a bit, but this should be a wake-up call. The city of Vero Beach is dealing with a water shortage right now. Officials asked residents to temporarily refrain from using drinking water for their lawns, which they say is a main contributor to the issue. I would say it was at least a million gallons a day additional water stress on, the, on our system, if not more. We had larger demands, it stressed the superficial aquifer, and therefore we had to ask the people to refrain from irrigating. Rob Bolton, the city's water and sewer director, says the city's drinking water storage was four feet beneath its normal level. He says the growing population in the area and lack of rain for several weeks also contributed to the low water supply. This was actually a wake-up call that, that we need to pay attention more. We're having a large amount of growth that's going to occur that's going to put stress on these water sources that we have for right now. Local residents say they're concerned. It does freak me out that they're, they're, um, people are coming in. Everybody wants the green lawn they, and we have dry seasons. And this may not be the last time that residents are asked to monitor their irrigation practices. People coming in need to realize that there are going to be restrictions. Call it a water balance. We need to preserve our, our drinking water source and stop wasting it on putting it on, for irrigation on grass. And we need to develop other alternative water supplies via you know, reclaim water and storm water to use for irrigation purposes. Bolton said the pause raised the water level by a foot or two. He also said the pipeline project to Johns Island for irrigation that CBS 12 reported on months ago is not in jeopardy, as that project will use water from the main relief canal rather than drinking water. In Vero Beach, Stone Huberman, CBS 12 News. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.